Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about abusive atroma imaging. Definition. Traumatic injury in pitched on infant and children by adult it is abusive condition. Most common sign and symptom. Discordant between static history and degree of injury attempt by perpetrator to minimize suspicious killer cause. Severe injury are uh, blame on infant rolling of a cause on to claw and infant are frequently to jam to roll over on all unprovoked seizure and appear arrest suspicious or abusive hair trauma. Other signs and symptoms for feeding, vomiting, irritability, seizure, lethargy, coma, apnea, retinol, hemorrhage can be missed on Cursory evaluation can be seen in glutaric aciduria. Cause of death in 80% of fatality in brain swelling. Severe hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy leading to diffuse agonal injury. Clinical profile. Perpetrator are uh, most often direct caretaker, parent, baby sister, mother, boyfriend, developmentally delay and quality, premature or low birth age, infant at higher risk, Psycholo psychosocial stressor or poor coping mechanism are often present in family environment. Demographic. Most common form one from one to six months of age. Seventeen to twenty-five over one hundred thousand annual incidents. Almost attained and uh, reported leading cause of brain injury death in children less than two years of age. Most often male more than female. Imaging, direct impact injury, direct flow to cranium or impact of scalp on object, carburetor and scalp base fracture. Focal brain injury, deep to impact. Shaking injury, result of volume to or from motion of head. Subdural hematoma in 90 to 98%. General line Current chemo injury, cytotoxic edema, laceration of axonal injury, bridging vein injury, and thrombosis are common. Non contrast enhanced CT is a primary imaging to initial evaluation of abusive head trauma. Multiple plan reconstruction include detection of small intracranial hemorrhage, fracture, fracture detects its key component in forensic evaluation of suspicious non-action trauma. Up or is best for detecting full extent of injury. DWI is paramount for parent chemo injury. PD and SWI G2 star GOE for hemorrhage, T1C plus for chronic subdural hemorrhage membranes. This is 3D non contraction in CT in a three weeks old who fell off the couch. So, multiple complex scalp fracture, including a depressed array parietal fracture. 3D rendering are helpful 
in improving the detection and characteristic of scar fracture. Non contraction in CT in the same patient, so a right subdural hematoma and a right opicular parenchymal laceration with significant midline shift and sarcal evasement. Parenchymal laceration are seen in 10 to 15 percent of abusing hetroma. non contraction in CT in a two-month-old patient with abusive hetroma, so subdural hemorrhage over the left frontal lobe and along the pass. Note the extensive left cerebral decreased attenuation with loss of great wire marrow differentiation and significant left to right midline shift. <laughs> left arm are in same patient. Seven year later, so extensive cystic and non-cystic encephalomalacia affecting the left more than right cerebral hemisphere. This associated equivalent SWI MR in a four months old with abusive hetroma so bilateral or retinal hemorrhage. Although SWI is the most sensitive imaging sequence for retinal hemorrhage, it is insensitive uh, relative to the chondoscopic exam. Note that a normal home apparent of the globe does not exclude a renal a retinal hemorrhage. Lateral radiograph so multiple fracture that cross switcher and are uh, just static. There is also coronal suture diastasis. Treatment multidisciplinary child abuse and neglect gene intervention. Notification of Local Child Protection Agency. Thank you.